Hi, I'm Sonia. In my last video, I showed you how to make pasta with sauce from a jar. Today, I'll show you how to make some meatballs to go with that. You will need the following ingredients. One pound of ground beef, one egg, one half cup of grated cheese, one third cup of plain bread crumbs, two tablespoons of Italian herb blend, one half teaspoon of garlic powder, one half teaspoon of salt, one quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper, and three tablespoons of milk. You will need the following tools and equipment. An oven, a jelly roll pan, yes, that really is the name for that kind of baking sheet, a large mixing bowl, a spatula, measuring cups, measuring spoons, pot holders, a timer, and a sharp knife. First, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, wash your hands with plenty of hot, soapy water. Use your sharp knife to open the package of ground beef. This is how I do it, but you can use any method you like. Place the meat in the large bowl. Rinse out the plastic and throw it away. I do this to keep the garbage from smelling bad. Add the rest of the ingredients to the bowl one at a time. One egg. Make sure there's no shell in there. Half a cup of grated cheese. I'm using Pecorino Romano. One third of a cup of plain breadcrumbs. Two tablespoons of Italian herb seasoning. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of salt. A quarter teaspoon of black pepper, or about 15 turns on a grinder. Carefully add three tablespoons of milk. Use your hands to mix all of the ingredients together. Take some of the meatball mixture and roll it around like so, gently forming a ball. Continue forming the meatballs until all the mixture is used up. Try to keep them all about the same size so they all cook at the same rate. I'm still waiting for the oven to preheat, so I'm going to take this time to clean up. Place your bowls, measuring cups, and measuring spoons face down in the dishwasher so they don't fill up with water. Put away the ingredients you no longer need to use. The oven has reached 350 degrees. Place the meatballs on a rack in the middle of the oven and set a timer for 30 minutes. If you're done cleaning up, take a break. It's a good time to watch another one of my videos. When the timer goes off, turn off the oven and the timer. Use your pot holders to carefully remove the hot pan from the oven and place it on a heat-proof surface. My counter is heat-proof, but you might need to put a trivet or towel on yours. 
Use a fork and knife to cut into a meatball to make sure it's cooked through. How can you tell? If it's no longer pink inside, it's done. Let the pan cool for about 5 minutes, then use a spatula to remove the meatballs. They are ready to eat, but you can store them in a container in the fridge for up to a week. Yum, yum.